Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am here to bring you my weekly sales update. It's actually been two weeks because last week I was at the beach and I did not get a sales video up, so voila, here it is. But it's enough for a week because I didn't have that many sales. Um, I laugh because why bother crying, really? <laughs> you know, um, sales have been really slow, but I hear a lot of people are really slow. I mean, it's just the summer slump. I, w I went back and was looking at things just, you know, over the last summers and generally July is one of my slowest. I just heard a ring. Was that from my, and my phone's not even here. I'm like looking around. It must have been on one of my screens that I have open. So uh, maybe I have an offer or a message. Oh, an offer received. Yay. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's been super slow, but I did go back and I was looking at, you know, my eBay, my Etsy, my YouTube, my merch, um, everything. And it it's all, you know, there's the ups and the downs. And then whoosh, July, and then whoosh, July, and then it picks back up again. So, um, yeah, it's been really slow. But also, like, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so my kids have been home, and I get nothing done. Finally, I mean, I, I don't normally, like, really fuss at my kids you know they're pretty good kids but today I was like that's it I feel like I can't get anything done guys um yeah so we had that conversation today <laughs> so anyway let me say hi. I am live so I'm gonna say hi in my chat real fast so Linda's there and Kathleen hello hello reseller niche podcast hello Mo um and so is Mama Sita hello bought my first jewelry vase this week yay I hope you find lots of treasures in it those are so fun um just says I'm a slacker. Well, yeah, that's probably true too. I could have stayed up all night listing. I have a ton of pictures done. I can get those. I have a ton of pictures, right? Hey, Carol's Gift Shop and Jillian and Donna, hello. And I got my nails done too. So if you're here and you're like, I came for your numbers and you're showing me your stinking blue nails, like, well, that's the way it goes. Um, <laughs> hello, hello, Aussie Thrifter and Melissa. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so I'm going to share what sold over the last two weeks, and I'll share my merch numbers. It's not so bad. It could be worse. I mean, I am a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and I make shirts for merch by Amazon. I don't sell on Amazon FBA anymore. I've done videos about why, but the fees were bananas for me. You know, it's great for other people, so... Uh, Jeff says, not listing, but got nails done priorities. I haven't got my nails. Okay, let me just stop and address that real fast, Jeff. I know I'm here for my sales video, but I hadn't. I didn't even get a pedicure today. The last time I got a pedicure was October, and I had black toenail polish on, and I was determined to see if I could make that black. This is going to be gross. If it would stay on until the next October, it's already come off. But now it means I can get a new pedicure. But I was trying to make it last. I'm thrifty like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, so my sales. That's why you're here, right? Not here to be for my toenails. I'm just here for the mystery box. Evan Clarkson just says, oh my gosh, that was so funny. Yeah, check International League of Thrifters. I posted a video about this lady opening these mystery boxes she got off eBay. It's so funny. Okay, so first things first. This is a sale on Etsy. This is a modern gold tone brooch. Um, picked it up for 50 cents and it sold for $12.99. Um, so after shipping and fees, my profit there was $12.47. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, okay, and then, oh gosh, what did I just do? I pulled off something. Um, okay, so next up, this stamp sold. It's just a curled frame stamp. Um, I got a whole bunch of stamps for about a quarter or 50 cents a piece. I, I put 50 cents because I couldn't remember exactly how much, but it was a big lot of stamps that I got. Oops, wrong thing. Um, so anyway, the stamp sold for $7.99. Um, I picked it up, I said 50 cents. So after shipping and fees, my net was $6.82. Stamps are really slow sellers for me, they really are. Okay, and then also on Etsy, I sold this, and I know Jeff's in the chat, so he'll know what this is. Ha -ha. Um, this is a sticker. It's exported from New Burbank sticker. It's from a Firefly Loot Crate. Now, the thing is, you're saying to yourself possibly, hey, Margaret, uh, Loot Crate 2016, that is not vintage, but because it's a sticker, 
I can sell it as a supply. So I, I put it in the craft category for card making, stationery, and scrapbooking because who am I to say if somebody doesn't want to make a firefly themed scrapbook with this sticker? So I sold it on um, Etsy for, uh, where'd it go? Where did it go? $5.99. So yeah, it came in the loot crate. I said it was about two bucks. It was probably less than that because you know there's a shirt and there's all kinds of other goodies in there. Um, so my profit was $3.94. It is not bending the rules. Just like that stamp that I sold was not vintage, but it's a supply. <laughs> okay, and then I also sold four Mr. Men books, or two Mr. Men and two Little Miss. Um, and these were vintage, they were from the early 90s, but they, they remake them all the time. Anyway, so these ones I paid about a quarter for. I might have paid a dime. One of the charity shops near me, the kids' books are 10 cents, so I can't remember. Um, it, was, it was from one of those. So uh, the four of these sold for $9.95, so my profit there was $8.96. Lakeside Treasures of the JoJo. I would totally make a Firefly scrapbook. Yes, me too. I love it. Okay, and then this ring sold, and it's an adjustable ring, so I was kind of like, eh, is it going to sell? You know, so that's what it looked like. Um, but it did. So I got it from a jewelry jar. That was my phone. What is it? I hear it dinging and stuff. I have no idea where it is. It's bizarre. Okay. Uh, anyway, adjustable <laughs> ring. Um, got it from a jar, so it was about 50 cents. It sold for $14.99, and so after shipping and fees, my net was $14.34. So those are my sales on Etsy. These ones, oh look, I got a offer for another stocking kit, you guys. Look, so this stocking sold. Uh, this one was so intricate. This was definitely not a beginner's embroidery stocking, but it did sell. Um, so I got it at Goodwill for a buck ninety nine, um, and this is the kit, right? And it came in this like envelope, not envelope, but like a bag. And this is the whole kit that you can make this stocking, right? Um, so I paid a buck ninety nine at Goodwill for it. It sold for $74.79. And so after shipping and fees, my net was $64.01. So good job, Christmas stocking. <laughs> um, and then this book, um, as you guys know, my grandmother, you may or may not know if you're new, you may not. My grandmother was a china painter, which means she painted porcelain arts like flowers on plates and teacups and things like that and she was really good but anyway so stuff like this this is like what my grandmother would paint so anyway um this is one of her books that she painted from um and so i had some of them up on amazon but i when i brought them home i started selling them off uh, here so this sold I took a best offer of $15.99 for it um, I just I put high prices because some of them really do sell for for good money I know they look like it's just junky but you can't just run out to the you know Barnes and Noble and pick these up anymore or even then dang it right I hear my phone dinging you guys hear it right I'm not just hearing things um okay <laughs> uh, so yeah, paid zero for this, $15.99, and so my net was $13.01. Jilly, Jilly, I hope I'm saying your name right, or is it Gilly? I think it's Jilly. Jilly, I know, she says, who in the right mind would, I'm thinking about the, the stocking, right? Somebody did. Somebody did. Okay, so then this necklace, this Texas necklace, where is it? Let's see, I picked it up for 50 cents, and <laughs> good, good, Donna. Um, I picked it up for 50 cents, and it sold for $12.15. I think I took a best offer. Um, so then after shipping and fees, <laughs> my net was $9.89. If you're not here watching live <laughs> in the chat, people are saying, yeah, we hear it. No, we don't hear it. You're crazy. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. Okay, and this is the mug that actually I just I did a video about because it, it broke. But I'm still listing it. Um, yeah, I'm still I st I'm still putting it here because it did sell. So I took a best offer of ten bucks on this. Uh, so my sh my net was six dollars and sixty two cents. Um, the reason that I took a best offer is because I'm trying to get rid of bigs. 
you know, like this. I'm because I'm really starting to focus more on merch and jewelry and stuff like that. So, I'm like, yes, get it out of here. I don't want this uh, mug anymore in my house. But it did break. So I did a video about when I how do you file a claim with the post office or whatever. Um, so it'll be okay because it was priority shipping. So it happens. Um, <laughs> My phone. Okay, so I'm going to show you my spreadsheet so I can show you my numbers for eBay, Etsy, and also merch for the last two weeks. Okay. Oh, we have 38 viewers live. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming over. Um, let's see. Here we go. Application window. There we go. Okay, so here we go. These are my eBay sales for, oh, and then five on Etsy. And then down here, this is July 19th through August 2nd. So I've had four sales so far today. Um, <laughs> Y'all are messing with me in the chat. Um, so anyway, you can see that things were kind of up and down in July. You know, it got really slow. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so 90 shirts sold in those days in the last two weeks. And my profit was... $540.42. So not too bad. I mean, I don't think for the last two weeks, $680.84. Um, again, for somebody who considers herself a part-time eBayer, reseller, um, I think that's pretty good. So yeah, those are my sales on eBay and Etsy and on merch. And if you have not yet, go over and follow me on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures, and I have a a reselling group called International League of Thrifters um, that you can join as well. We have lots of fun in there. I also have a jewelry group. The links are all down below. So if you're interested, the, those are the things that we have going on, and you can come join us. Um, let's see. Carol says, I hear a doll crying. Well, it's still over there. I haven't listed that doll yet. <laughs> um, Laura says, just saw the, the video about the mystery box buyer from eBay. She had a bag of trash. She did. I didn't think you could do mystery boxes on eBay. I thought that was a big no-no. Um, yeah, I, I shared it on my Texas Gal Treasure, and I shared it in International League of Thrifters. It's so funny. Um, so, Jeff, if you missed it, go watch it because it's really funny. Um, okay, so that's it, I think. Yes. And I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. If you didn't get, my guys, my boys made these stop motion animation video. And it's like a minute long, right, with these Legos. And they're so excited. They can't wait to make more. So and that was their first attempt. And I thought they did pretty good for their first attempt. So anyway, if you're interested, go check it out. I'm going to plug that for my guys. Okay, thanks, everybody, so much. I hope your sales are going really well. And if they're not... School starts soon, and we can get back into the groove. My, my kids' school starts in two weeks, so I'll miss them, but I'll be able to get back on track with other things. Okay, thanks so much for coming, you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.